Hello lovely people, welcome back to Nana's Kitchen. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to be making jollof rice. I'm making a large quantity which can be used for a party. So join me, let me show you how to do it. The first thing we're going to do is to prepare the stew for the jollof rice. Let me show you how to do that. So to make that perfect patty jollof, here are the ingredients I'll be using today. I'm using four large onions, two scotch bonnets, cloves of garlic, ginger, and I'm going to be using tomato puree. I'm not using any fresh tomatoes here. The tomato puree will make it quick and simple. I've also got here um, pepper. This is the roasted red pepper and this is one of my secret. It gives it that lovely smoky flavor and it also gives it that redness that you want your jello fries to have. So I've got here, you can do one yourself, but I've just got one that has been done already. I'm going to be using cooking oil and this is sunflower oil for um, some of the flavors that I want to add to it. I'm going to be using thyme, this is fresh one, fresh rosemary, I've got five small cubes of uh, maggi cube, these are the seasoning cubes, I'm using aroma for seasoning as well, some nutmeg, this one has already been blended and it's a good one, I love it, and then also some curry powder for the flavor. Let's start cooking! So right now I'm going to blend three of this onion, the garlic, the ginger and the, the scotch bonnet. I'm going to chop them up to smaller pieces and I'm going to blend them and the other remaining onion I'll just cut it um, into smaller pieces which I'll use to start this. Tea. So here is the onion, the ginger, the garlic and the scotch bonnet all diced into the blender ready to blend and into that I'm going to add the roasted pepper and I'm going to add about five to it and each one is a whole so I'm just going to add about five pieces to it and I'll blend it all together if I had used fresh tomatoes I would have blended the pepper with the fresh tomatoes but because I'm not using fresh tomatoes I'm just going to blend the roasted pepper and with this mixture and get it all together So right now I'm going to start making the stew and I'm using a very large pot here because when you're cooking the stew it can splash all over the kitchen so I'm using a larger pot to prevent that from happening and to minimize it. So into the pot I'm going to add the oil and you need to be generous with the oil here because then when you've got more oil on the surface of the stew it stops it from splashing um, all over and obviously when the stew is cooked and the oil is too much you can take the excess oil off before you prepare the jollof rice now into the oil i'm adding the remaining onion and i've diced it and i'm putting it into it just to um, start cooking it and you don't need to cook it with extremely high heat just medium heat is enough so now the onion has sauteed for about a minute or so so it's at this point I don't want to get it too brown so I'm going to add the tomato puree right now so right now I've just added a bit of water to the um, glass that contains the tomato puree and I've just um, added me back to the stew, not too much water, just to get every bit of the tomato puree out of that the last year. So I'm just going to cook the tomato puree um, now in the stew for about three to five minutes, and then I can be adding the blended ginger, garlic, and onion and the red pepper mixture to it. But you need to cook your tomato puree and get it down a little bit. 
At this point, the tomatoes have been cooking in the stew for about five minutes, and as you can see, it has dried up a bit. And that is okay at this point for us to add the blended ginger, garlic, onion, red pepper, and scotch bonnet. So I'm just going to put that all into this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rinse the blender with a bit of water and I'll come and add it to this. So I'm just adding in all the seasoning, the nutmeg, the um, aromat seasoning, the curry powder and the maggi cube. I'm adding it all into the stew right now. Adding the rosemary and the thyme, which I have, I'm just adding that to this too. You need to be in my kitchen. The aroma is to die for. It smells so good. Can you see how the stew is flashing? And that's why I cover it avoid it from splashing all over. You need to check your stew intermittently just to give it a stir to prevent it from burning as well but then again you have to cook the stew in very low to medium heat you don't want to rush the cooking process now the slower it's cooking the flavors are building so at this point the stew has been cooking for about an hour and um, as you can see the oil has settled on the surface of the stew and I have tasted it and the flavor is out of this world now the secret is to making a delicious jollof rice is based on the stew that you're going to use so you need to make sure your stew is cooked and the flavors have been built as you can see the stew is cooked and we will be ready to mix that making the jello fries in just a moment and you see how deep the color is it is so so tasty the flavor is out of this world hey mm -hmm. so now that the stew is done we are ready to make our jollof rice and as you can see a lot of the oil has settled on the surface of the stew and it's a bit too much so i'm just fetching it out just now and i will be ready to make my jollof I just fetch and here is some that I've already fetched out. It's quite a lot. And that is just enough. This is okay for me to set. So this is what I'm using to make the jello. I'm going to use um, basmati rice and I'm using one kg. I'm cooking for a lot of people. Mind you, it's party jello. And I'm going to use some um, aromat seasoning and I will be using corned beef. Now you can use any sort of meat of your choice, but you know, the, the jollof is going to be served with chicken, fish, and all the assorted stuff that goes with it. But um, I am just going to add corned beef to the jollof itself as well. Now, and some salt. So I'm going to wash the rice until the water comes very clear.
the washed rice into the stew. is enough to cook all the jollof and I want the jollof to be taking on the flavors and everything of the stew so I'm not doing too overly too many much rice than the stew so just like that this is enough now I'm gonna add the aroma seasoning Is going to add more flavor now instead of the water you could have used um, chicken stock beef stock vegetable stock but because i'm using aroma it's just that's the same purpose basically you can use seasoning cube as well for your choice now this is just enough to cook the to flavor the rice Taste it as you go. You need to taste it. can also use paper, um, baking sheet paper, or you can also use um, a tea towel or kitchen towel. So that's that. Now I'm going to lower my heat because if the rice needs to cook jello, it doesn't too much heat. So I'm going to cook it in very, very low heat. So I've lowered the heat really, really down and I'm going to let it cook. Now, um, I will check it intermittently, but the vapor and the steam is what is cooking the rice. There's not too much water in there. So I'll, I'll check in after about um, 10 minutes to see how it's doing. Now, the rice has been cooking for about 15 minutes. So I'm going to check. Amazing. Leaving it for 
about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm just going to check on the rice again. Um, I believe at this point it should be cooked. Yes, it is cooked. It looks it. So I'll give it a last day. And as you can see, that is our party jollof rice cooked right there. Beautiful, tasted as well. Mm. And it tastes so so good. So so good. I'm just gonna garnish it with some scallions or spring onion. And that's it. It is ready. Thank you so so much for watching give this video a thumbs up subscribe and whilst you're on here why don't you click on my other videos and watch i hope you give this recipe a try i will see you in my next video thank you so so much bye bye